Twizzlers gummies go fruity today on the candy aisle. Hey guys, welcome, welcome one and all to the big show. My name is Jeff and today we have a review of Twizzlers gummies. What is this? <laughs> Twizzlers gummies tongue twisters. Wait, Twizzlers gummies fruity tongue twisters. That is right. Twizzlers gummies are back. I reviewed um, another skew of this product in February. That was the Twizzlers gummies tangy tongue twisters. So this is the fruity one. This is the brand, brand new one. So back in, um, I think like around October of 2020, Twizzlers went all in on gummies. It's funny that Twizzlers and Jolly Rancher both this year or both, you know, recently uh, went in big on the gummy front um, because the Twizzlers gummies and the Jolly Rancher Misfits lines are actually pretty similar. Um, they're uh, a two tone or a two flavor gummy candy. Um, and in a space where neither company has had a ton of uh, exposure in the past. So Twizzlers gummies, it's a two flavor. Like I said, they have three skews of it. This is the brand new one just came out. So originally they launched with the sweet and the tangy. So the deal with the Twizzlers gummies are this. Well, they're called the tongue twisters because they're, you know, it's like the Twizzlers mouth with a licorice kind of coming out of it. I was kind of middle of the road, to be honest, on the tangy. The tangy one is the one I reviewed? Yeah, it was. Um, but the deal with the Twizzlers gummies is, like I said, they're all two two flavors. There's there's all, They're all two, like each combination is a two flavor dealio. Um, there are... Three skews. The tangy skew has a base of cherry. So that means that all three of the different gummy flavors in the package have a cherry. They're like a cherry and something. The sweet one has a strawberry base, uh, strawberry and something. And then this one, this brand new one, the fruity, is a raspberry base. As you can see, there's a raspberry on the package. So we've got three flavors in this one. Uh, I still haven't actually tried the sweet one. I should really get on that. The, this one is, uh, it's got orange, orange, orange raspberry, uh, watermelon raspberry, and um, lime raspberry. Oh, it's a lime. It's not green apple. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Because, um, you know, I mean, look, they're getting the watermelon in there. I just, <laughs> the green apple just, it's it's everywhere now. And I miss lime. Don't you guys miss lime in candies? It, it's just gone in so many places. Anyway, uh, for those of you interested, here are your nutrition facts. And the ingredients list. Of course, as a Twizzlers product, this is uh, a uh, Hershey's, uh, Hershey's, well, and Hershey's Canada, in fact, where I live. Um, and in Canada, these are manufactured at the Allen Candy facility i believe let's open that up it says new on the packaging oh let's see yep oh they smell they actually legit smell fruity huh okay all right all right let's get a few of these out oh boy yeah i got that's all of them i think get that out of here this is what we're looking at. Oh, I think the design work here is better on these than they were on the other ones. Maybe they have improved. Okay, so we've got... There's the three. Ah. Yeah, there's the three, right? The orange, the watermelon, and the lime. And I like the design. I mean, it's it's a little weird, but like Twizzlers, you know... I mean, maybe not as weird as Skittles with their marketing, but like, you know, they are a fun brand. I do like, I, I love the packaging. I love the um, playfulness. Twizzlers always has like colors that kind of pop. You know, it, it's a good brand. It's a, it really is a solid brand. So I get why they want to move more from the licorice into the, into the gummy line, continuing to use the um, Twizzlers branding. Let's start with the orange and uh, see how this... Um, actually tastes okay all right hmm oh yeah now i recall it's a pretty chewy gummy like um almost like bouncy like you get with a gummy bear which is generally not my 
favorite consistency when it comes to gummy products. But, you know, mm -hmm -hmm. okay. It's interesting. I get hints of both of the flavors, but the, it's funny because, I mean, obviously with any two, two flavor in one candy, the idea is that the flavor pairings complement each other. That's weird in that I could taste both flavors, but I think that the orange lost some of its sweetness because it was cut with the tartness of the raspberry. So I don't know. I feel like the raspberry kind of undercut the, the, the strength of the orange. I wonder, let me try. If I just eat the orange half, as you can see, just standard gummy on the inside. Are the flavors, I wonder, like actually like, is the orange half actually orange? <clears throat> the orange is not very strong. It is orange, but the orange half is, is just orange, but it's, um, hmm. I think the orange part would do better if it were, um, if there were like, um, you know, like more of it. Do you know what I mean? Or it was a stronger flavor, I guess is really what I, really what I'm saying. Let's do watermelon next. Maybe this combo is better. Um, so I know some people love sort of gummy bear style gummies. Uh, so I freely admit that like personal preference, you know, my bias is in here, right? I feel like the consistency, I don't know, the bounciness, the chewiness of the gummy is really not doing it for me. Watermelon, also not one of my faves. However, hmm, this versioning of it's okay. And I do think that the raspberry and the watermelon complement each other. Hmm. Weirdly, whereas I felt like the raspberry flavor was a little strong for the orange pairing, the watermelon is very present in that mix. Hmm. All right. Not bad. <laughs> Weirdly, I, I'm not, this is not something I normally would say, but I think that watermelon is better than the orange. Let's try the lime. No. It's like a lime mouth is eating a raspberry Twizzler. Do they make raspberry Twizzlers? They must, right? One of the varieties of like the pull and peel twists or something must be a raspberry. Mostly it's just strawberry and cherry, but hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Let's try the lime. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Very limey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that lime flavor. That lime flavor is good. Totally overpowers the raspberry. I'm not getting any raspberry flavoring in this. That's weird. Hmm. Just tastes like a lime gummy. Honestly, I like it, but <laughs> I don't think it's really achieving what they're setting out to do here. All right, so overall, um, overall, it's okay, I guess, is where I'm landing on this. I like the lime. I like the watermelon. I didn't really like the orange. 
Um, the lime is really good, but it just tastes like lime. The watermelon raspberry is the best mix for sure. Um, and the watermelon's okay. The orange, I don't think either flavor is uh, complemented by the other. <sighs> I don't know where I sit on this. I really think that like, it's all right. Uh, and like I said, the chewiness is not really for me, but maybe for you. I think that like, overall, it's okay. But if you like your goal is to pair complementary flavors, they didn't really achieve that other than with this one. So one out of three, that's not really a great <laughs> track record, right? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just think also maybe, maybe this product isn't for me. Um, you know, it's like the, the flavoring, the fruit sort of flavoring is, is nice. Um, but, uh, maybe just give me some gummies that are just like straight up, just like Twizzler gummies, like a single flavor. I'd probably be interested in trying that. I don't know. As it is, eh, I, I, I'm going to give this a, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a three out of five, low three. Um, I know they only got one out of three really good, but the lime was good. It just didn't quite add up to it. But the packaging, the presentation is very good. Some people real, will really like these. I just don't really think they're for me. So it's a low three out of five. That's my take. I don't know. Why don't you guys let me know? Have you tried these in the comments below? Uh, and do you like them? Uh, what do you think of the other SKUs? Have you guys tried the sweet and the tangy versions of the Twizzler gummy tongue twisters? Let me know. Um, and what would you uh, like to see from Twizzlers? Would you guys like to see just a solo gummy uh, attempt? I think that would be interesting and uh, probably more successful than this. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, everyone. I, as always, appreciate your time and energy sticking around. <laughs> we'll see you next time. So long, guys.